Hi, welcome to Culture Month at FBA. I'm John North. My wife, Lois, and I have been your missionaries in Australia for almost 30 years now. You know, Australia is like America in a lot of ways, uh, a Western nation, we speak English, uh, but there's a lot of, of significant cultural differences that impact on ministry here. Some of them stem out of Australia's origin as a prison colony. That's led to an attitude that's still there in the culture today where in America, there's a respect for people in authority, but in Australia, there is a resentment to people in authority. And that carries over even further. So that whereas in America, if you're going to speak to somebody, you'll kind of present your successes and your uh, effectiveness, your credentials, and that gives you credibility with them and respect. But in Australia, if you talk about what you've done and accomplished and uh, kind of lay that out there, it leads to a view that you're arrogant. <laughs> because Australians view everybody on an equal level. So that if I'm an Aussie guy and I even happen to meet the Prime Minister of Australia, uh, I won't use formal language in that. We'll just, I'll talk to him on an equal level with me and just start chatting. And an Australian meeting someone in a high position will still say, hey mate, how are you going? You know, and just talk on that, that very practical level. Uh, uh, whereas in America, you often think more carefully about how your words might impact the person you're talking to emotionally. And there's a kind of care and politeness there. Aussies just say whatever is on their mind. Uh, it's interesting the dynamics this creates between Americans and Australians. Often Americans who work with Australians will think of Australians as fun-loving but rude. And Australians who work with Americans will think, oh, they're arrogant. Uh, so these present challenges, of course, in building relationships and working effectively uh, with people. And this is a bit of a bit picture of the cultural reality of working in Australia.